Isaiah chapter 53 Who had believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He had no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shears is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He had put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul, and shall be just, just satis, shall be satisfied by his knowledge, shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Because he had poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and he made intercession for the transgressors. Chapter 54 Jerusalem's Future Sing, O barren, though that this not bear, break forth into singing, and cry aloud, though that this not travail, with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, said the Lord. Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitations. Spare not. Lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy stakes, for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left. And thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood any more. For thy Maker is thy husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth, shall be he be called. For the Lord hath called thee as a woman forsaken, and grieved in spirit, and a wife of youth. 
When you was refused, said thy God, for a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, said the Lord, thy Redeemer. For this is as the waters of Noah unto me. For as I have sworn the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I would not be wrought with thee, nor rebuke thee. For the mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from thee. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, said the Lord, that had mercy on thee. O though afflicted, tossed with tempest, and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors, and lay thy foundations with sapphires, and I will make thy windows of a gates, and the gates of carbuncles, and all thy borders of pleasant stones, and all thy children shall be taught of the Lord. And great shall be the peace of thy ch children. In righteousness shalt thou be established, thou shalt be far from oppression. For thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee, shall fall for thy sake. Behold, I have created the smite that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the white wa waster to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, said the Lord. Chapter 55 Divine Invitation to Return Ho, everyone that thirsted, come ye to the waters, and he that had no money, come ye buy and eat. Yes, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do ye spend money for that, which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken dil diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. In line o your ear and come unto me here and your soul shall live and i will make an everlasting covenant with you even the sure mercies of david behold i have given him for witness to the people a leader and the commander for the to the people behold thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not and nations that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of the Lord thy God, and for the Holy One of Israel, for he had glorified thee. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, 
and make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out from my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish and which I please, and it shall prosper to the thing whereunto I sent it. For ye shall go out with joy and be let forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree, and it shall be to the Lord for a name for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Chapter 56 Thus said the Lord, Keep ye judgment, and do justice, for my salvation is near to come, and my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed is the man that doeth this, and the Son of Man that layeth hold on it, that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, and keepeth his hand from doing any evil. Neither let the son of the stranger that had joined himself to the Lord speak, saying, The Lord had utterly separated me from his people. Neither let the Enoch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. For thus said the Lord unto the Enoch's, that keep my Sabbaths, and choose the things that please me, and take hold of my covenant. Even unto them will I give in my house and within my walls a place and my na a name better than of sons and of daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Also the sons of the stranger that join themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love the name of the Lord to be his servants. Everyone that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, and taketh hold of my covenant, even them will I bring to my holy mountain, and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon my altar, for my house shall be called an house of prayer for all people. The Lord God, which gathereth the outcasts of Israel, said, Yet will I gather others to him, beside those that are gathered unto him. All ye beasts of the field come to devour, yes. All ye beasts in the forest, his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yes, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough, and they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, every one of his gain, from his quarter. Come ye, ye say they, I will fetch wine, and we will find ourselves with strong drink, and tomorrow shall be be as this day and much more abundant. Chapter 57 The righteous perished, and no man lay it to heart, and merciful men are taken away, none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. He shall enter into peace, they shall rest in their beds, each one walking in his uprightness. But draw near hither, ye sons of the sorceress, the seed of the adulterer and the whore, against whom do ye sport yourselves, against whom make ye a wide mouth and draw out the tongue? Are ye not children of transgression, a seed of falsehood? 
inflaming yourselves with idols under every green tree, slaying the children in the valleys, under the cliffs of the rocks, among the smooth stones of the stream is thy portion. They, they are, they not lot, thy lot. Even to them has thou poured out, poured a drink offering. Thou has offered a meat offering. Should I receive comfort in these? Upon a lofty and high mountain has thou set thy bed. Even thither wintest thou up to offer sacrifice. Behind the doors also and the posts has thou set up thy remembrance. For thou has discovered thyself to another met than me, and art gone up. Thou has enlarged thy bed and made thee a covenant with them. Thou lovest their bed where thou sawest, and thou wentest to the king with ointment, and didst increase thy perfumes, and did send thy messengers far off, and did debase thyself even into hell. Thou art wearied in the greatness of thy way, yet saidest thou not. There is no hope that thou hast found the life of thine hand. Therefore, thou waste not grieved. And of whom has thou been afraid or feared, that thou hast lied, and has not remembered me, nor laid it to thy heart? Have not I held my peace even of old? And thou fearest me not? I will declare thy righteousness and thy works, for thy shall not profit thee. When thou criest, let the companies deliver thee, but the winds shall carry them all away. Vanity shall take them, but he that put it his trust in me shall possess the land and shall inherit my holy mountain and shall say, Cast ye up, cast ye up, prepare the way. Take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people. For thus said high and lofty, one that inhabited eternity, whose name is holy, I dwell in the high and holy place, with him also that is of contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble, and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. For I will not contend forever, neither will I be always wrought, for the spirit shall fail before me, and their souls which I have made, for an iniquity of his covetousness was I wrought, and smote him, I hid me, and was wrought, and he went on frowardly in the way of his heart. I have seen his ways, and will heal him. I will lead him also, and restore comforts unto him, and to his mourners. I create the fruit of the lips, peace, peace to him that is far off, and to him that is near, said the Lord and I will heal him. But the wicked are like the troubled sea, when it cannot rest, whose waters cast up mere and dirt. There is no peace, said my God, to the wicked. Chapter 58 Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. Yet they seek me daily, and they like to know my ways as a nation that, that did righteousness, and forsook not the ordinance of their God. They ask of me the ordinance of justice. They take delight in approaching to God. Wherefore have we fasted? Say they, and thou seest not. Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and that takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast ye find pleasure, and exact all your labors. Behold, ye fast for strife, and debate, and to smite, 
with the fist of wickedness. Ye shall not fast as ye do this day, to make your voice to be heard on high. It is, is it such a fast that I have chosen, a day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush rush, and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Wilt thou call this a fast and an acceptable day to the Lord? Is not this the fast that I have chosen, to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke? Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house? When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not, hide not thyself from thy own flesh, then shall they light break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee, the glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity, and if thou, and if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted, so then shall they light, thy light rise in obscurity, and thy darkness be as a noonday, and the Lord shall guide thee continually, and satisfy thy soul in drought, and make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water whose waters fail not, and they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste pl places. Thou waste places, thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to, to dwell in it. If thou turn away from thy foot, from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable, and shalt honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thy own pleasure, nor speaking thy own words. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob, thy father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Ch chapter 59 Behold, the Lord's hand is not a shortened, that it cannot say, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies, your tongue had muttered pervertedness. None call it for justice, nor any pleaded for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. They hatch cockroach eggs and weave the spider's web. He that eateth of their eggs dieth, and that which is crushed. Break it out into a viper. Their web shall not become garments. Neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity, and the act of violence is in their hands. Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity, wasting and destruction are in their paths. The way of peace they know not, 
and there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths, whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. Therefore is judgment far from us, neither doth justice overtake us. We wait for light, but behold obscurity for brightness, but we walk in darkness. We grope for the wall like the blind, and we grope as if we had no eyes. We stumble at noonday as it in the night. We are in desolate places as dead men. We roar all like beers and mourn sore like doves. We look for judgment, but there is none. For salvation, but it is far off from us. For our transgressions are multiplied before thee, and our sins testify against thee. For our transgressions are with us, and us for our iniquity, we knew them, in transgressing, lying against the Lord, and departing away from our God, speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the heart, words of falsehood and judgment is turned away, backward and justice standeth afar off, for truth is fallen in the street and equity cannot enter. Yes, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him, that there was no judgment. And he saw that there was no man, and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore his arm brought salvation unto him and his righteousness is sustained him, for he put on righteousness as a breastplate, breastplate and an helmet of salvation upon his head, and he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing, and was clad with zeal as a cloak. According to their deeds, accordingly he will repay fury for his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands he will repay recompense. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. The Redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression into Jacob, said the Lord. As for me, this is my covenant with them, said the Lord, my spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed said the Lord, from henceforth and forever. Chapter 60, The New Jerusalem Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall ri arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and the kings to the brightness of thy, of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about, and see, all they gather themselves together. They come to thee, thy sons shall come from far, and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee, the forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The multitude of camels shall cover thee, the dromedaries of Median and Aphia, all they from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall sue forth the praises of the Lord, 
all the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Nebothit shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance on my altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are these that fly as a cloud, and as the doves to their windows? Surely the isle shall wait for me, and the ships of Tarshish first, to bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them unto the name of the Lord and thy God, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he had glorified thee. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I have I have mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yes, these nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of a Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together, to beautifully the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shall suck the breasts of kings, and thou shall know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood brass, and for stones iron. I will also make thy officers peace, and thy ex exactors righteousness. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land wasting nor destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy wall salvation and thy gates praise. The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee. But the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light. And thy, and thy God, thy glory, thy sun shall no more go down. Neither shall thy moon withdraw itself for the Lord, shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy mourning shall be ended. Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation, I, the Lord, will hasten it in this time. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Worship. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Bow down before Him. His glory proclaim gold of obedience and incense of lowliness. Bring and adore Him. The Lord is His name. And not a man of all their enemies stood against them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. Not a word failed of thy good. The thing which the Lord had spoken to the house of Israel. Prayer. God, you never fail me. You are true to your word and to your promises. I worship your holy name, for you are faithful. And you always have been, you led me to victory through Jesus. So it is in his name I pray this. Amen.
dark I can almost see you clearly Every day you see
Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost. But now am found, was blind, but now I see. T'was grace that taught my heart to fear. And grace my fears relieved How precious did that grace appear The hour I first Believed You are my shelter Thank you.
when we are lost in pain, we cry out your name, and you Joy.